The Providence Civic Center's first open house was on November 3rd, 1972. Then, as last Saturday, the public was allowed in for its first look, 12 years after the facility was proposed as part of a 1960 downtown Providence master plan for the future. Two months later, Providence Mayor Joseph Dorley's proud declaration. This facility is designed to serve everybody. The Civic Center's very first event with great pregame fanfare was a Providence Reds Tidewater Red Wings hockey game. Since then, of course, the center has hosted many sporting events, from the Reds to the Providence Bruins more recently, the Providence College Friars, and many tournaments. And many concerts. This Christmas concert in 1994. And some that caused controversy. At this Bobby Brown concert in January 1993, one spectator was stabbed three times on the Civic Center concourse, and shots were fired at other concert goers. In fact, some of the center's earliest concerts came with controversy. In December of 1979, Providence Mayor Vincent Cianci drew national attention when he canceled a concert by the rock group The Who after 11 fans were crushed to death at a Who concert in Cincinnati. If we can't control the crowd, we're not going to, uh, we're not going to have the groups here. And in 1982, Civic Center officials thought about canceling an appearance by rocker Ozzy Osbourne because he had bitten the head off a live bat during a concert in Des Moines. Osbourne did appear at the Civic Center, and no animals were harmed during the concert here.